So I suppose the question that I'm asking here is, should you buy the Amiga Constellation 41 millimeters? Let's talk about it. Before we start on the Amiga Constellation 41 millimeters, we want to say a very, very Merry Christmas when it comes. I hope you are spending some time with the loved ones and your family and relaxing. We actually have some exciting news on that front. Right, so this was pretty exciting. First off, we have the torch. Now, what the torch is going to do, so, so I just blinded Drew. <laughs> As I was saying, the torch is going to be used for the loom on the dial. So hopefully we'll get a really powerful loom, which we can show you guys. This is a measuring thing, which is used for measuring. <laughs> Basically, what we're going to do with this is get all your measurements that you want to know. The lug to lug, the case width, everything you want to know, we're going to get with it. And last but not least, we have a scale. Now, we are going to measure these watches accurately for you. We don't want you going online and getting the wrong information. So we'll do it here. You'll be able to see us doing it and you'll be able to see the weight. Anyways, back to the point of this video. Let's talk about the constellation at hand. It comes in at 41 millimeters in diameter. Now, for those of you that watch the videos, you'll know that that's pretty perfect for my wrists. I normally go between 40 to 43, maybe at a push. So it hits that sweet spot in watch measurements. I have to say, it is interesting where Amiga are going with the constellation range. I mean, two years ago, it was predominantly for ladies, but with these new manlier gents introductions, it is taking over that portion of the dressy men's market. And I feel like as the watch industry grows as a whole, and the more people that invest in watches, there's more room for dressy watches. It's not just your average sports watch. There is more diversity in people's collections. For example, I have a Grand Seiko. So there is more room for dressy watches. I do like the direction that the luxury watch market is going with the introductions of these new dressier watches. I mean, if you, rewind about 50 to 100 years ago, sports watches were almost non-existent and fashion does tend to repeat itself. So we've gone through our sports watch phase and I feel like we might be drifting into a new phase of dress watches. What do you think? Right, and now that we've covered all that, let's get to the specs of this model. So the lug to lug comes in at 44 millimeters and it's quite compact. The lugs are quite different to my Amiga Seamaster that I have on at the moment, and I do feel it's more of a compact piece. Just to give you a comparison, the Amiga Seamaster 300 meters that I have on, the one that was in my watch collection video, you might have seen that. I'll look it up here for you. It comes in at 50 millimeters, and that's because the lugs are more elongated and they're not as compact as the Constellation. Now we get to the thickness of this Constellation model, and it comes in about 13.5 millimeters in thickness. Now, technically, that is a little thick for a dress watch, but I would counteract that argument with the fact that it has a co-actual movement, which is Metas and COSC certified inside. So we'll move on to that in a second, but it does wear a little chunkier than a dress watch. The case of this watch comes in stainless steel. And as we are speaking right now, we have our scales. So let's get this on the scales and see how much it weighs. Let's have a look. 112 grams. So just out of pure curiosity, I actually have my Amiga Seamaster 300 meters here, and we're gonna weigh this and see how it compares to the Constellation. So that comes in at 112 grams, and this, this also comes in at 112 grams. I'm not gonna lie, I really didn't expect that. The stainless steel case is actually integrated into that ceramic bezel. Now, I really like this. It's a really unique design that I haven't seen before, and it's quite, masculine, it has that contrast there. However, with incredible styling comes compromise. And what I mean by that is this stainless steel is polished, which in my point of view, from my point of view, makes it more of a dressy watch. I would be more wary about wearing this out and about just because I'd be scared to get it scratched. So it does make it that bit more dressy. Moving on to the glass and the dial. It's actually got sapphire crystal glass, domed sapphire crystal glass. The indices are highly polished and the hands are highly polished also. The hands actually have super luminova on them as well. It has the star at the six o'clock mark and it also has a date window at the six o'clock mark. Now, for those of you that have been watching the channel for a while, you know that I have gripe about the three o'clock date window. And this adds so much symmetry to me. I really, really like the fact that they've placed it at the six o'clock mark. Touching a little bit on the aesthetics and the dial of this watch, the sort of sun ray dial. Now, there are other variants of this watch. There's the black, there's the silver. My personal favorite being the black, but I'll put a couple of them here for you at the moment. What you might notice though, is that the sunray pattern, instead of 
coming from the center of the dial actually span out from the star. I think this is a really nice little detail, a little touch, a little sprinkle of salt without being overly complicated. I really like it. The ceramic bezel plays wonderfully against the polished steel. Now, this is a common theme in the range as a whole, especially in the black model. They have really great contrast to them and the colorways that they've picked are really spot on. The bezel also features Roman numerals, which is a really nice design touch. Then moving on to the crown, it actually, it's, it's really, really nice. It's highly polished. It's not too prominent. It's not too intrusive. It doesn't dig into your wrist when you, when you sort of bend your wrist. It's really nicely placed and positioned. I do really like that. I feel like a feature in some dress watches that they may get wrong is that that crown does become that little bit too intrusive. For those of you that have been watching the channel for a while, you know I have a bit of an obsession with biscuits, but the good thing about it being Christmas is that we get chocolate instead. If you are wanting something extra special for Christmas that's maybe not chocolate, <laughs> remember that Chisholm Hunter are actually official authorised retailers for Amiga watches. You can pick one up at chismhunter.co.uk. That's Chisholm Hunter. .co.uk. Right, I'm going to put these firmly out of sight. So, the Amiga Constellation comes in with a water resistance of 50 meters. Now, that is more than you should ever need. It also comes with a leather strap, and it kind of is a, is a mixture between rubber and leather, making it that little bit more durable. And I actually really like the color of it. It contrasts, again, with that steel on the, on the case really, really nicely. Moving quickly onto the movement of this model. It has the Amiga Caliber 8900. And let's get into some specs because it's pretty incredible. The movement is a self-winding movement with a co-axial escapement. It's certified by Master Chronometer, approved by Metas, and is resistant to magnetic fields reaching 15,000 Gauss. It has a free sprung balance with silicon balance spring, two barrels mounted in series, automatic winding in both directions. And finally, to add to that, it has a power reserve of 60 hours. Now, we've got a good understanding of this Amiga as a whole. We've covered a lot of the specs, should you buy it? So taking a step back and looking at this objectively, when I went in to get my Amiga Seamaster 300m diver that I've got on at the moment, I was focused on getting a diving watch, a sports watch. That's when I went into the Jism Hunter store, I wanted a sports watch. So I kind of dismissed the new gents range of constellations. But then when I got the Amiga Seamaster diver, I began looking more at dressier watches. And this is the one that I kept coming back to. The simple fact of the matter is that for the price, you are getting the best movement available on the market. So in my opinion, I would get this. However, I would get the black variant. That's just my opinion, but I get the black variant. What I'm trying to say is at the end of the day, if this is within your budget and you are looking for a dressier watch, I honestly would go for these models. I just think the movement's unmatched for the price. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Time in the Wrist at Chisholm Hunter. If you want to join the Chisholm Hunter family and join me for more reviews, then make sure you subscribe here. If you want to see more from Amiga, then make sure you hit it here. And if you want to see the watch vlog, where we take some pretty incredible watches to some pretty amazing locations, then make sure you hit it here.